jacket time. <laughs> That's amazing. Amazon always has products that people are excited about, but most wished for, I mean, we have to try it out. If you're new here, welcome. Introduce yourself down below and maybe subscribe if you find this, you know, entertaining. Come join our family. <laughs> but this is a series where we go on Amazon's most wished for list and I comb through and find all these different products that I think are really interesting that people have been really wanting, they've been really excited about, and I buy them to see if they're worthy of being on everyone's wished for list. You know, most wished for, whatever I said. And I'll leave the full playlist linked at the end of the video so you can go and check it out. Sometimes it's nice to have a playlist going while you're doing stuff, that's what I do anyway. But now onto the goods, a nice box full of stuff. And we're gonna start with a makeup product. And I've already done my makeup, but I did it intentionally because of the way that this product is supposed to be used. It's by the brand Alioop which is just a great brand name, 10 out of 10. And it's their Pen Pal 4-in-1 Touch Up Pen. And this is something that you're supposed to just like throw in your purse and you can just touch up whatever you need to throughout the day. They have on the sides here, each of the different areas that you're supposed to be able to touch up. So I assume sparkle means like a highlight. We have the brows lip product eyes and they have different tones as well i don't know how many it was either two or three and then whatever one you want you just click it down like those pens in the 90s early aughts i don't remember and then when you're done with it you just probably oh no no how do you get it out oh yeah no that's what you do so you just go through you pick whatever you want i have eyeliner there and then you just click and it goes up and then you do a different one ta-da now it's pink. Well, obviously, we're gonna try this. I'm gonna start with the eyeliner. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, it's kind of that standard like, kind of gray liner, you know, like it's not black black, but it's fine. So let's say I wanted to like touch up on the waterline here. In terms of the actual application, it's very bulky on the outside, you know? Like I'm getting the color on. I just put it on my forehead? I absolutely did. Do you see that? I am just... So talented. Anyway, what I was saying is that this pen part is just very thick. So like it just, it feels like this big, I don't know, what are those big helium balloon things? Blimps? It feels like a big blimp heading towards your eyeball. And that's just strange. Let's do the brows now. Cause I am just not happy with my brows right now. We're in a fight. It's fine, they're winning though. That is the shade right there. It feels a little bit light for my brows. I need full silence to do my brows because I am incapable otherwise. I don't know what I'm doing at this point. I feel like I'm making it worse. Shh, whispering makes it better. That's not bad. In terms of like a product, I'm still not happy with my brows though. You know when you're just having an off brow day? <sighs> it is what it is. Next, highlight. I thought this was very yellow for a second, but it's not. It's not very sparkly either. I don't know what I would use that for. Do you use that on like the waterline? Oh, it's very sparkly. I don't want that there. Maybe on the outside right here. <laughs> it's kind of itchy just because of the way that I'm like just scratching it on. That's doing nothing, nothing at all. Do you see anything? I don't see anything. All right, last chance. Ooh, the lip colors. Mm, yeah, that could be pretty. It's a lip liner. I guess I, I should take off at least the outside of my lip product. Let's do a little liner on the top here. I don't know if it's because the liner itself, like the lip liner is kind of um, like it's harder. So my lips feel weird or if it's the product itself, but I'm gonna take it off now because I don't like the way that it feels on my lips right now. That's a weird feeling. I don't, I don't, it doesn't feel tingly. It just feels like it's not happy with whatever this is made of. Well, that's a, that's a strong stance right out of the gate, a bold one. That was just a resounding no. I don't like it. I think you can do better. That's just not worth it. Oh, I don't know why I applied more lip product. Ugh, I just take it off again. It's fine because I have a lip mask and this thing is so insanely well reviewed. Like people are obsessed with this. I would pull it up on my phone, but my phone is, I don't know where it is. It is the She Loves Lip Mask and they have a day version as well as a night one. People are saying it like it just works really well. This made my super dry peeling lips soft again. Another person said that it was better than the Tatcha Lip Mask, which is saying a lot because there's a Big price difference. They work with a thousand exclamation marks. I had horrible, horrible chap lips. I've tried everything and this is just, this is it. This is the, this is the best. These are high praises for a product that's essentially just mineral oil. Does it have other stuff in it? Sure, but it's basically just mineral oil. And if I understand mineral oil at all, it just basically is going to um, act like a protective barrier. Oh, that's cute. 
because it has, they have honey extract in it. It's like the literal last ingredient. So it's in a little honey jar with a honey thing. Wand, I don't know. Winnie the Pooh would know. So one is day and one is night, but it does not tell you which one is day and which one is night. So my assumption is they're the same, but you keep one by your bedside and another one wherever you want. Because one is honey and one is cherry blossom. Oh, don't like the smell of the cherry blossom one. What is that? It smells like cherry medicine. No, see what the honey one smells like. Okay, that one doesn't smell like anything. So that's a good start. You just like dunk it in with the thing. That's cute. It's a cute applicator, like I get it. And then you just like wipe it off and put it on. I guess I should wipe off my lip product. Fine. It feels good on the lips. Like it, it feels hydrating. I know it's just sort of like holding the whatever's on your lips on. I do appreciate what they're providing some information on the, on the product. It has beeswax, vitamin E. They have four main ingredients, they say, in their product. Honey extract, which I believe is the last ingredient. Sorry, second last ingredient. Cherry blossom extract, also second last ingredient. Beeswax and vitamin E. But what's interesting is the functions, the four main functions. The first one is to effectively clean dead skin. You apply it before you go to bed and when you get up in the morning, it will fall off easily with a dab of dead skin. I assume they mean it's going to like, cause this isn't, no. I'm trying to figure out where they were going with it, but I, I think it's just like, it's not an exfoliant. Exfoliants exist for your lips, but this isn't one of them and this isn't what that's going to do. It is going to hydrate it, but I'm sure like any, like most lip balms are just mineral oil. So for me, I, I don't understand. I would rather get something like the, um, like Aquaphor lip balms or something like that. And I believe those have more like oils and things in them that are actually going to help condition your lips. But um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not getting the hype behind this. Okay, now the next one, I am very personally excited about this because I need this in my life. So I really hope this works. And it's called the sneaker, the sneak erasers, instant sneaker cleaner. And it comes with all of these different sponges. You wet it with water and then you scrub on any like areas that you want to brighten up and remove scuff marks and all that kind of stuff. Also worth noting, it's intended for use on rubber soles and synthetic materials. That's important. Don't eat. All right, well, you convinced me. I've been trying to clean my Air Force Ones for so long now. It's just, it's gotten past the point where I think they're actually salvageable in terms of like getting them to like that crisp white. But I started on Instagram and I was like, what should I do to try it? and um, somebody suggested using like a, a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser, destroyed the Magic Eraser and it did nothing for my shoe. So let's try this instead, because this feels exactly the same as a Magic Eraser, but that did not work for my shoe. So I don't know. What's the, what's the orange side? That's for wiping away residue. Oh, interesting. Product naturally disintegrates during use. So I guess I should have seen that coming with a magic eraser. This seems like a better cost per kind of thing. All right, let's go grab my dirty Air Force Ones. All right, I've wet the sponge. I have my Air Force Ones, no judgment on this. They're dirty, I know. Yelling at me in the comments about it isn't gonna change it. So we have my shoe. She's a little dirty. Let's try it on this little guy. So it says just to, to scrub it. <laughs> See, it's like, really destroying this. Sorry, sorry, disintegrating. Wipe. I mean, it did take off that scuff mark. That's true. This isn't gonna make it not yellow though, which is what I really wanted. Let me try and just like give it a little bit more of a little scrub. There are pieces of this thing coming off all over me. Give me, <gasps> wait a second. Okay, mm okay, okay. It's getting bits all over. However, where is my other shoe? So we can see. It is making it a little bit, if not like super white, at least whiter. It's gonna take some work though to get it there. This isn't gonna be easy peasy. This is going to, this is gonna take some effort and I truly am not convinced I will ever get it 
as white as I want it. But I will say it's like, look at that. That is a big difference to me. That is made a, like, look at this. Comparatively, that's pretty good. So I guess set your expectations on this. If your shoe has already discolored, which I understand can be also just from being outside, like it just, it, it changes the color. But if you're looking for something that will clean it or you've managed to catch it before it becomes to the point I'm at, I mean, it's doing a pretty good job. But do this outside or over a garbage can or something because this is just, again, just coming off everywhere. But it is, to me at least, making a big difference, you know? But you have to be willing to put in the work and like, I am gonna go through one of these for one shoe. Like this is not gonna do it for two shoes. Maybe just get the sponge itself because th these sponges, I, I think you can just get them, right? Like, I don't know what it's made of, but whatever this stuff is made of, you can just get a huge pack of them on, um, on Amazon. So I take that back, just get some cheaper ones than this. Now that I understand it was supposed to break down. Now I see its value. Like that's a that's I'm I, okay. I'm excited about this. I'm excited about it. The material gets a thumbs up from me. I think you don't need this though. The next thing I bought, I sort of went into like a, a full category moment, and I bought like everything, everything. Because guess what? It's sweatsuit season. And you know what I'm always in the market for? A really great sweat set. But I want it to be comfy. I want it to feel like thick and luxurious. I want it to be long enough. And so I kind of blacked out and I bought everything. Bought a whole bunch of different sweat sets and a bunch of different sizes. And then I think a week or so ago, I tried them all on with Lo because Hot Takes with Lo is very important to me. And I value her fashion advice because she's got some great advice. Oh, and also a jacket. I forgot, we also got a jacket. But like, anyway, here we go. Hello from a different day. I have so many sweat sets <laughs> that are the most wished for. We need to try them. First of all, let's unveil them. And I never know the vibe of these sweat sets. Like, are they oversized or, or are they like true to size? So I got one, two different sizes so we can see. This one, it, ooh. Feels nice. This is the large in the blue, but like, look at that blue. Look at that dusty blue. She's so dusty in the best way. I don't love the little um, circle pull thing, but the pockets are nice. And um, we'll see if it's long enough. So I got that in a medium and a large. Nice dusty pink for the medium, we'll see. Then I got this, um, like a quilted, like a down jacket. This is the one that I got. It's like a... I don't know, like a tan color. I don't know what size I got her in, but I will I'll find out though. It feels thick, but like in a nice fall kind of a way or like a layerable way, which I like. Feels like it'll be long enough too, which is exciting. I like the quiltedness to it. It's very subtle, feels nice and like, like cozy. Like I just want, I want to curl up in it. It feels almost like that, um, those muslin blankets. I think about, I talked about that in video like a month ago. It feels like that. And another popular sweat set. This one is by a different company and has like a zip up, or like a different zip up. I need to know which one reigns supreme. This one is in this dark charcoal gray. It's got just like a regular zipper here. The inside looks very floofy, but it also looks like it's gonna pill real fast. I don't know that for sure. It's just like a feeling, you know? The sweatpants look real nice, really nice and like cozy. Told you, I told you I had a lot of sweat sets. And then just to like switch it up, I got a fancier sweat set. Now I know I have tried ones like this before. And they haven't been great. However, this one has almost like a mock neck type of look to it. I like the color. I like the detail in the front. This seems promising. It seems like a promising haul. Let's go get Louie. I have a jacket. <laughs> I was already in here <laughs> with love. I just felt weird to come out of nowhere. <laughs> the magic of video. <laughs> I have a jacket. You can tell how much <laughs> how much practice Rachel has of doing things vaguely. <laughs> jacket time. <laughs> that's amazing. Feel it though, because that's that's the real winner winner chicken dinner. This is soft. It's like comfy cozo. Like I'm getting hot right now because it's like this is Amazon. This is Amazon. Oh. This is Amazon most wish for. I would wish for that. I, right? Yeah. I do wish for that for you. <laughs> and don't be surprised if I show up at your door in a similar jacket. <laughs> Next thing we're we'll going to be trying on. Sweat sets. Oh. <laughs> so many. First, sweat first time in a sweat set? This is my first, first I don't, time. I don't own any sweat sets. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't watch a video from two weeks ago. <laughs> there was a good one. Okay. And we have them in different sizes. 
That way we can see which arms are long enough. <laughs> Don't Sesame Street me. You know when you pull something out of a bag and you're looking at it and then you John Mulaney it and you say, ah, oh, this gotta be good. <laughs> That's how I feel about these pants right now. Mm. I know, but this will look so good on you. Oh, this video goes up. You're gonna have your baby. My niece, you're gonna have my niece. <laughs> I love that. So. You're welcome, because this will fit your legs for sure. Okay, but here's the problem. The problem is I feel like the pant, like they're a little wide for a short human. Well, depends. It's very cute. It's so cute. You know what? You know who's coming over tomorrow? Who, Lauren? <laughs> <laughs> I have my sister try it on and then we can have another fashion show. I always like when people in the comments are like, what do you do with this stuff that doesn't work? And it's like, babe, she has, a sister, so many two people. sisters in law, a mom and a mother in law that she is unreasonably close with. So, <laughs> do you say two sisters in law? <laughs> <laughs> Did you forget your other sister? For argument's sake, let's just say I didn't count myself. <laughs> that will be better for everyone. Sorry, Caroline. <laughs> <laughs> Caroline. <laughs> you get nothing. So and none for dibs. None for dibs. Honestly, though, this would look real cute on dibs. Yeah, well, everything looks cute on dibs. That's why, that's why I can forget her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So is this a large? This is the medium. Mm. So I'm gonna try mm. the large. Feel it, it's nice and soft. Yeah. Like it feels so very nice. Maybe it's just nice. Maybe we're not giving it a fair shake. Yeah. Maybe it just needs to be washed. It's so nice. Like that's the thing that's like bothering me about this is like it is, it feels so nice. Okay, I'm gonna try on the bigger one and just see. Just to see. Just to see. It looks the same. What is it about this material that's looking full of worry? It's just very wrinkled. I think it's is just the way it that is? it was like vacuum sealed in. Now in the blue, this is giving like um food like 90s dad. All in like in my head, like and I can't justify it. I just keep thinking like Puff Daddy and J Lo. Yep, yep, yep. Someone can tell, tell me why that's what I'm thinking. That would be great. But like like it almost fits too. Like this like this will fit most most people. I yeah. think. I'm but not like, crazy about the zip. The zip is like yeah. It's this, throwing me okay. off. Another set. Don't worry. There's so <laughs> many more. Club. It's like a Bus. Pop. Another club. No sleep. Sweat set. Sweat set. Okay, this is the size up for me. This is this is the this is the large. I decided okay. to go straight into the large. Okay. Because it's the jogger one, it sits at the ankle. Yep. Yeah. So like, suppose that's better. If I sat here, it would probably. Yeah. Here you can try a wheelchair too. Yeah, but then you can't see. <laughs> oh. <laughs> sit, 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 sit. Get my little walkie walk on. Yeah, I got a little walkie walk in. The thing is, is that I don't like this as much as the other one. Like I feel like this looks cheaper. Nah. Maybe a controversial take. So I think that this is too big for you. Mm. Okay. I'm gonna try something drastically different again. I'm gonna hold my thoughts on this set until you try it in a medium. Holding my thoughts is historically not my forte. I'm just waiting for you to be like, I'm gonna leave the room and you be like, no, I hate it. I didn't like it. It's definitely not it. This color is nice. See, okay. Thank you for doing this for me. You're welcome. First of all, your eyes look great in that. Thanks. Like they really do. Okay. They really, really do. I wasn't loving that gray. It was too big and the color wasn't right. So okay. it wasn't thrilling me. Mm -hmm. This is much better. Now it is again like full on, like it's sitting leho. Leho. Yes. Le but you're tall. Am tall. Yeah. It is um like feel the feel the look feel that in the pocket. That's nice. Yeah. A little weird. It's it is a little bit weird, um, but like at the same time. This feels like kind of inside silky. of a like a like a you know that inside like silk tracksuit. I know yeah. exactly what you're talking track about. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not like a sweatsuit, like a proper tracksuit. Like it has like a silky lining to the to the pocket. Which is kind of interesting, but then on this side it is not silky. So I don't know. It feels like good thick material. Yeah. The seaming seems nice. I think that this looks better than the other one. Yes, it does. Yeah. Like the the stitching on this one looks like better quality, I feel like. But Rachel, are the sleeves long enough? <laughs> Like a bird. I feel like, like a little puppet. <laughs> <laughs> I like those, um, what are those, those nutcrackers? And they go, <laughs> that's what I am right now. Um, it is like, if I'm just standing here, mm -hmm. it fits. I feel like if I do any movements at all, like yeah. it's just, it's gonna sit here and it's gonna be a little bit short, a wee bit. Yeah, for a five, ten and a half human. Yes. I'm short enough that I measure the half inches. <laughs> the half inches. But, I am curious how this sits on Lauren because I bet this yeah. will look fantastic yeah. on her. Oh, that's who's gonna get all of these. <laughs> I have one more and yeah. it's like a fancy set. Okay. 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 I like okay. fancy set. But I like how I think I tried on one something similar to this a couple of weeks ago 
and someone said I looked like a prison inmate <laughs> in a set that looked very similar. To oh, yeah, yeah, the How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days set. I was exactly. That. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. I'm assuming that's what you're talking about. That's exactly about. what I'm yeah. talking about. Thoughts. I actually quite like this. Yeah? We feel better about this one? Yeah. Ooh. Very soft. It's like very, um, like silky, but in a good way. It feels nice and thick in terms of the qualita. So what's going on with the neck is my only question. It, yeah, that was the thing that I was gonna point out is that it, it's like curling yeah. a lot, which I think really cheapens it, yeah. which I'm kind of disappointed by because I think this could be really cute, but I don't like that. The rest is like very comfortable, like it, it fits nicely. I feel like every time you wash this, It'll it's curl just gonna curl around. again. Yeah, which is too bad because I cheap. actually almost love this. Yeah. Like, I think there is nothing in the winter like a nice, like, luxury. Like, I, I bought, like, a like a cashmere mm. sweats that, you know, my black one? Yes. Two years ago, and I get mm -hmm. so much wear out of it. Yeah. And I was thinking this could be a dupe. So close. Everything else about this actually feels very... I do like how I'm at a loss for words because I actually want to love it so much. Yeah. Even like this, like if you turn to the side, like mm -hmm. this is even done well, the back, like the piping at the back and like the material, like honestly, like feels nice. 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 So yeah. if there is more, I will link them because I think that if you, we can find a better neckline, this if is- If you can like, find a better neckline this for is sure. Okay, so then what is your favorite of the ones that we have tried today? Rachel took great, oh, the jacket, sorry. The jacket for sure. Yeah, so the, ja yeah, the jacket. I, 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 oh, I wonder what the jacket looks like with this. It's a good question. It's a good question. Great question. Oh my gosh. There's like a tracksuit tornado in here. Hurricane Rage has been in town. No. Yeah, not quite. It's not, but no. like, this is, this is like, yeah, this is such a good, such a good jacket. You should put that on. You can still fit it for sure. I might, yeah. For Let's sure. See. The waddle. The waddle is real. The waddle is real. That's exciting that I won't be waddling by the time this video yeah. comes up. Cute. How do the sleeves, how are they right on you and me? They're the sisterhood of the traveling <laughs> sleeves. That's what it is. So mine are a little bit shorter. Okay. Than yours, but like that. Yeah. No, that actually, vibe. that hits well. I am 5'6". And uh, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. That looks really cute on you too. Yeah. Good color on you too. You're just it's glowing. Te <laughs> Definitely the jacket. Anyone who wants to leave a reminder to get low that jacket for Christmas <laughs> comment. That's up to you to decide if it feels right. <laughs> she just If the spirit it. moves you. <laughs> it's a good jacket. I think that, yeah, that's the win. Wishing you luck on the hunt for this and you will let me know if there is a different neckline because I would very much like to partake in this. Christmas present. <laughs> hey yo. Hey. <laughs> Oh hi, you're back. I am making some headway on this. I am no I am really getting annoyed though because of the little grooves on the bottom. Can't really clean those very well. So I'm gonna need like a brush and some proper cleanser to do that. It is getting whiter though. And then I have one more product that I feel like is very important because I feel like this is something that is on everyone's like wish list, everyone's Christmas list. And they've been selling out like insane levels. But I managed to get my hands on a pair, everyone. Drum roll, please. <laughs> the Ugg slipper. This thing was so hard to track down. It was at the top of the wish list for so long. And so the only one I was able to get in my size is the black one. And I really wanted the um, the, the classic one, that sort of like caramelly brown tone that I just think is very, um, very Ugg boot. But I thought that the black was actually kind of cute. And like looking at it now, yeah, like I'm kind of excited about it. So let's try it on. Okay. I need to understand the hype behind me. Ooh, they're very comfortable. Hold on. We gotta do the walking test. Okay, now I need to try it without socks on. Uh, no, no. This is a sock only slipper for me. Are they super in style right now? Yes, they are. Are they comfortable? I mean, yeah. I like that they are supportive on the bottom, like they have the grip on them, that's important. I like that they don't slip off your foot too much. Like in the back, there's like a little bit, but not a ton. They're nice and fuzzy. They feel like they're not gonna break down immediately. However, as someone who is coming from the, I wear an indoor running shoe, <laughs> running around like a child at school. They have orthotics in them and I just, I'm running around all day. I personally like that better. I move faster and therefore in my head, I get more done. These are very loungy. These feel like a loungy slipper. Like you want to feel tall and also cozy. Not like you're gonna just like slip all over the place, you know? They're not my personal style. However, I think that they're well made 
they're comfortable. They don't feel like, um, you know the Ugg boots that have that big platform? They don't feel like that where I can't like move around in them, you know? However, it's, it's missing the bounce vibe that I get from wearing like an indoor running shoe. So that's what I have to say on it. Aha, I found her. So this is the medium one. This is the yes. blue. That's a nice blue on you. It's a nice blue. It's a nice material too. That looks good. Like the sleeves are long enough. How, how tall are you? Five foot six ish. Five foot six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you could size down for sure too. Yeah, I worry that like they would fit still. I don't know how much shorter they get. I don't really want them to be any shorter than that. Yeah, that's fair. For me personally. Okay. But, All right. Yeah. Looks cute on you. I like that. Okay. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. I have another one. I have another one. Now you need to try on this guy. Okay. 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 What do you think? What do you think? Okay. I like that the sweater has pockets and the pants have pockets. Mm -hmm. Very nice. The sleeve lengths are good. The pants are, they're comfortable and everything's fine. Oh, it's interesting to me because I found them to be very short, but like if you are any taller than you, like that would be almost too short. Yeah, exactly. If they shrink at all, I can't wear these because then they're like floods and I can't, <laughs> I can't make that work. <laughs> That's a bad look. Footage of me. <laughs> right? If they were like a closed ankle, then it would be fine. Yeah. But because they're such a wide leg, like they have to be almost too long. Right, 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 right. It's a pretty color though. They they pretty. really crushed the colors this time. They I did, was, yeah. I was very impressed with them. I like the I like the the like structure of this one. Yeah. Quite nice. It's a good structure. Okay, and then and then I have the jacket because I, I had Lo try it on and me try it on. So now the other Lauren has to try it on. Okay. It's so soft, right? It is soft. It's cute. Yeah, it fits I you thought, very I nicely. The sleeves are gonna be too short, but they're not. They're not at all. They weirdly they fit me and you and Lo. Right. But it's like such a comfy jacket. Yeah. Well okay. thank you for being my model today. That was <laughs> very helpful to see on everyone's. Oh, so good on you, girl. I love it. Thanks. Have you tried any of these products before? Leave me a comment down below. I'm very curious if you've seen these products before, if they're on your wish list, or if there's anything else that is on your wish list that maybe we should try out for the next video. Give this video a thumbs up if you love this as a series, and check out the full playlist on the side here. Subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you guys are having a fantastic, fantastic week, and I will see you guys all in the next one.